Alrighty, everybody, we are going to, let me take off this stupid mask. I even got this damn thing on in the damn house. Ugh, I'm so sick of it. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to start the AV copter for the first time. And I'm going to do step by step what it says in the manual to do. I got a memory card for it. Right here, a Samsung 128 Evo. Evo Select. It's it's a select. It's like a chicken leg. Select. <laughs> okay. So in the manual, you have to press and hold the power button for the uh, drone first. Okay. So you got to start that first. I think that's up here. And there it is. So that's on. Okay, unfold the mobile device and uh, blah, blah, blah. That's all done. Open the app. The V-Copter app is open. Okay, we can skip that. Okay, press and hold the power button on the controller. Okay, so that's on. I thought it was to stop and power button were the same but they're not okay press the link button on the drone the status indicator light of the drone will flash green okay let's see the link button is over here inside this little door right here there's the green it will flash green and it said it and it's doing that okay so okay so we can disconnect it via the app okay products and services okay blah 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 I agree okay there's the serial number bind your account okay bind successful start activation activated successfully Okay, please use FlyKit to do the update on your computer. You can download FlyKit on... Okay, so you have to use some kind of uh, uh, app from the website to do the firmware updates. You just can't. It just doesn't suck them down. So we're going to have to go through that. Juice flight mode manual control we'll just do that just to get into the app i just want to get into the app and see that the uh, app is actually working and it is as you can see as i'll pull this down here and wind the drone around you can see that it's working now i just want to look at some of the features on on here um There's a takeoff button right there. You see. Maybe I'll switch over to uh, the recording, the screen recording to talk about this part. There's where it says takeoff ground, takeoff. There's a return. There's a manual button here. Here's some settings right there. Return to home altitude. Return to home point. Max flight altitude. 120 meters. Now, this is all meters. 2,000. Obstacle avoidance during manual control. Return to home if you lost the signal. Yeah, we want to do that. Okay, there's your stick mode. There's your battery. Okay, the battery seems to be doing okay. Um, there's the camera settings here. I'm going to go with 4K. Okay. The fan's kicking on and off, of course, because it's not moving around. So it's going to start sitting here getting hot. So we're not going to leave it on for that much longer. But I just wanted to, uh, I wonder if the motors would arm manually without it taking off maybe i should do that on the floor huh just to see if the uh just to see if the motors would arm up yep 
Yeah, they will. Yep. Okay. I'm not taking off in here. I can tell you that right now. And so you just pull down on the stick to stop the motors. Okay, so that works for me. All right, guys. There it is. There's the initial setup. I'm going to have to go on there and figure out how to do the updates and all that crap. But I think I'm going to go fly it first without doing the update or anything like that. So, all right.